Hi, I'm Rachel Lampa, and I am a singer, songwriter, performer, artist. Signed my first record deal in 99. <laughs> I recorded my first album in 2000. It was called Live For You. I started writing my own music shortly after I signed my record deal. I started to kind of see what a privilege it was to be able to share music and to be able to have a platform to speak and sing about what I believed in and what I loved. What countries I've performed in? Germany, Scotland, England, Holland. Got to spend some time in Italy. Got to perform at World Youth Day with the Pope. There were, uh, I think it was 3.8 million people there. It was pretty, pretty life-changing, pretty amazing to see that many people in one place agree on something, agree on, on love and uh, unity. And it was a pretty, pretty awesome moment. I was blessed to be able to tour with Amy Grant and Vince Gill and Nickel Creek on a Christmas tour. I really grew up on Amy Grant's music. I really um, learned a lot about life from her as an artist, how to last in this business, both personally and professionally. And I just remember looking over one night at the end of the show, we all kind of got together and sang Christmas carols together. And I, I looked across the stage and saw Amy and she looked back at me and it was just so surreal because I, I grew up, you know, singing her Christmas songs, running around the house, screaming them at the top of my lungs. And now I'm sharing a stage with her and she's smiling at me. And that was, that was a, a pretty cool memory. My biggest inspiration in life, one of them would have to be my mom, a strong, strong character. And she, she showed me that it was possible to be strong-willed and disciplined and tough, but also to be really, really loving and really compassionate. And at the same time, to be surrendered to to, to God and to her faith and to, to be able to balance all that and hold that and carry that the way that she does is pretty amazing. She also just became a cancer survivor, watched her be every bit of awesome that she is um, through that process and it was a really beautiful thing to see her come together. I guess what encourages me to keep creating is people. I mean, honestly, I, I get into conversations and I experience certain adventures and journeys in life that I always, that always fuel um, my, my creativity tank. And I wouldn't be able to, to make music or to write songs without the people in my life, without them speaking into it or without the stories that I'm told through other people's amazing lives that they've led. What comes to mind when I think of the word art? I would say organic. I think that if, if I've learned anything in this whole time of writing music and kind of, you know, creating a creative brand and a creative uh, surroundings for myself, I've learned that it has to be organic. Um, there's only one me and only one of my voices, and if I were to force it to be anything that it's not, then, then it would be, we'd be losing something that, you know, the world would never get again. And I see that in all of my friends that are creative and, and all of you out there, you know, that are watching that have that, um, that passion and that itch <laughs> to be creative. Um, you're the only one that can create what you, what you are going to create. And, and to not do that would be to cheat the world of just your beauty. And that's so important. So let it be organic, let it be you. My favorite inspirational artist, I would have to say, I mean, Amy Grant is definitely up there. She really practices what she preaches. She really is the person that you see on stage and the person that you hear through her songs, she is that person. Um, so I'm gonna throw it back to Amy Grant again. Here we go, come with me.
Three words that describe me. Uh-oh. Clumsy. <laughs> Energetic. And... Okay, this is gonna be like a hyphen word. In love. <laughs> I like for people to come away from time with me knowing that I, I love things and I love people and I love God and I'm a lover, not a fighter. <laughs> I hope to accomplish through my music a lot of things, but I think at the heart of it, I do, I want to communicate that, that love can look like a lot of different things and love can look not just in the obvious ways, but love can look like listening and love can look like a smile and love can look like a word, a needed word. And I think sometimes we feel like we can't be capable of touching other people's lives and that we're not big enough to make a difference or we don't have enough money or we don't have enough reach or fame even. And I want to communicate through my music that, um, that love is possible in so many different ways. My plans this year actually um, have already started. I have been writing almost every single day, trying to come up with the greatest songs for the greatest record that I can make. Um, hope to release a record later this year. Lately I've been singing in prisons. <laughs> um, a little unexpected um, for some people, and for some people that know me, then it's not a shock at all. But I have um, a real heart for people that need second chances and people that need to be listened to and um, people whose lives don't look like uh, the norm, that aren't all packaged up nicely and aren't uh, perfectly painted. I think that that is where God has a lot of room to move and where there is a lot of potential to really change lives and change the world and if I can be any part of, of that of um, healing or maybe it's even uh, something that I need I'm sure it is from from these uh, these inmates um, I I love it they're just my heart I just um, I've really learned a lot about the different faces and the different shades of love and I want to continue to figure out what that is and figure out how God loved us and I can, uh, you know, start to, to think bigger in the ways that I'm serving my family and my friends and, and my fans and people that listen to my music. I want to serve, I want to be a servant in that and not just be a distant artist or distant face or name. So yeah, 1 Corinthians 16, 14, do everything in love. A passport to freedom piece of clothing that I love. This one! I love simple. I love that it has a sweet heart on it. Um, I wear a lot of black and white. I know, it's kind of boring, but I like to uh, spice it up with um, little pockets of color and stuff. So this is perfect because it is a pocket and it is a color. So I love these pieces. It also comes in a t-shirt that I wear all the time and they're super soft. Encouraging words to artists out there. Um, again, be you, be organic and be authentic and don't don't uh, try to be something that you're not. I mean, I think that we already have what we need um, inside of us and it's receiving the, the gift that's really going to allow us to just be free in that and enjoy it and not take it too seriously, but just to hold it lightly and to say, okay, this is a gift that I've been given and... I will joyfully give it away and the only way to do that is to um, is to accept who you are love who you are and run with it and beautiful things will happen life-changing things will happen world-changing things will happen thank you again passport to freedom you guys are doing amazing things and beautiful things and I'm honored to be a part of whatever is coming next and um, whatever is happening now, and don't give up. You guys are great. God bless.